guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am up with another Sketches in Time layout. And so the sketch that you just saw and the one right here is what I am using. And so rather than using four photos, I have three photos and then that little die cut piece that says ready, set, go time. And I'm going to use some square photos rather than rectangle. And so I've grabbed some of my leftovers and I am getting down to having barely any of this amazing cool kid collection left. And so I think I have maybe one full-size 12 by 12 sheet left um, other than this one. Um, so this one is called Run and Jump, and it's just this black on gray stars in the background. And I've pulled out just a piece of colored cardstock in this kind of dark burnt orange color that matches the embellishments that go with this kit. Because I want to have my secondary color of orange, and then I'm going to use pale blue as kind of my third little pop of color. Um, just because of the clothes that my son is wearing in the photos. So this is a series of three pictures of him, and this was quite some time ago, getting roller skates, uh, roller blades for the first time. And so I have a close-up of him and his roller blades, and then I also have a picture of him skating towards me and skating away from me. So those three photos together are going to tell my story. And I am... Um, I did go ahead and back all of them with white cardstock before I kind of put them in that layer. And then I'm just pulling out some of the pieces from the ephemera pack that I have left, as well as these letters. And these stickers are called Imprint. And I just picked them up super cheap at Tuesday morning. And they're going to work as my title. And I am going to keep my title down in that bottom right um, underneath my photos, just like in the sketch. And I am going to go ahead and add some tags over here. And this is not something that was in the sketch necessarily, um, but I really like the look of kind of layering these tags together. So I am cutting off the text part or the detail part, and I made sure to cut them off in such a way that I can still use those ephemera pieces on another project later. And then I'm going to end up cutting off the top of that tag that I have right now up at the top that has B for boy. And that tag is also going to come down into that little cluster. So there are going to be three. And then I'm going to put these, um, this frame on top of the photo of my son in his skates to kind of draw the attention there. Um, and then I have this little piece underneath that says best kid ever. And then I have another frame that is kind of like the inside of the frame. So you know when you buy the um, chipboard sheets, they have kind of the frames all nestled together. So there was another one of the layers that had some orange with it. And so I'm going to place that over the top of this B to kind of bring that orange detailing up to the top. And then I'm going to grab this little die cut and put some foam adhesive on the right side of it so that it will sit on top of that frame. So by putting the foam adhesive just on that side, it's going to stick down to my background page, but then it's going to sit on top of that frame without a problem. And so I went back off screen and added my Baker's Twine detailing. So I added that in the three tags. And then I also did something that I often do, which is to wind a little bit around the edge of a tag and then just tie around the edge of the frame, I mean, and just tie it in a knot. So it creates a little bit of texture detail on those frames. And you'll see it in the close-ups. I really like kind of the detail that that adds um, to these different frames. So now I've gone back to this sticker sheet and I've grabbed these little arrows and I'm going to put these kind of together with my title because um, I like I like the feel of how that collection and these letters work really well together. I feel like it has the same feel. And then I'm going to grab a bunch of these stars and these are actually from the Cute Girl collection, these little black um, stars from the puffy sticker sheet. And I'm going to place them around my embellishment clusters over the top of some of the stars in the background paper. And it gives them a little bit of dimension and makes them kind of stand out, but yet it's a subtle detail. And I really like that. So it adds just a little subtle amount of a difference around my embellishment clusters and makes it look a little bit different, but it's not super overpowering. So then I went ahead and grabbed some enamel dots, and these are from the Echo Park Are We Are We There Yet, I think is what it's called, and then some other ones from Twine and Ink that are just left over from an old studio calico kit, and they just had the colors I wanted. So I wanted that kind of deep orange color, and then I wanted this pale blue because that really does pop off the page, and I love how that looks, and you'll see that even more in the close-ups, that it really does create a pop of color there. And it's, it's funny that you can do, like, you can get a commanding look with a really small detail, 
if you're using your colors, you know, in the right way that way. So the fact that there's so much other stuff going on and then just these tiny pops of blue, the blue elements and my sun then really stand up off the page. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of these stickers and these are also from the Cool Kid Collection and they just say, hey champ and let's go. And then I'm also going to grab a bunch of those plus signs that you see up towards the top of the sticker sheet here in a second. Um, I have this little border left and it's sort, sort of messed up because it's one of those things that came off the sticker sheet. I ended up not using it and it went back on. So I am going to tuck that in behind this middle photo because there was a lot more orange showing because I have that photo down a little bit. So it adds a little detail. And then I tuck the other piece in over here on the right hand side just to create some continuity. And then I go ahead and grab those plus signs and I'm going to end up putting two up there by the B. And then I also put two over in my tag cluster and then two down by my best kit ever little ephemera piece as well. And I kind of like those clustered in twos. They fit like really well into each other kind of um, staggered. And so they added a neat little look to my embellishment clusters that I really liked. And I think think that's basically going to do it for this layout. So I do hope that you will check out Sketches in Time and you will play along with this sketch. Uh, do make sure if you would that you've taken the time to like and subscribe to this video and my channel. I have a ton more content coming and I am super excited to talk with you and get your comments and I do always answer so I would love to hear from you down below. We will um, take a look here at some of the close-ups of this layout and then I will be back to see you again soon with another project. So I hope that you have felt inspired to go out and create something wonderful and we'll see you again soon. Bye!